So as you're thinking about what this looks like and trying to vision it yourself, let's think about how you're going to know that they are able to do these things. What are you looking for for your evidence? I'm looking for them to be able to cre create the word that I've given okay. spelled correctly using whatever the pattern is that we're focusing on. So how will you be assessing that? I think that it would be good to use a rubric or something so that I can keep track of student responses. That's and a be great able to idea. Take notes. I know we created one before, I think, that um, you said was useful. Let's see if we can pull that up and maybe okay. we can just modify it for this one. Um, yeah, it was just very basic where you took the specific learning targets that you were focusing on and then we plugged it in. And then you had the four, three, two, one rating. Yes, and and students are also very used to that scale as well. So that will be Excellent. good to use that number system. And I like where we can add comments in as well, so mm -hmm. I can take particular notes for students. That's great. Okay, so what we can do with this is, if we go back, um, so I have that on part of my screen, and then the other part of my screen, I have the lesson plan that we were just working in. And why don't we just kind of talk through the different learning targets and what that's going to look like to you, what you're going to be looking for in the classroom. We can match it up in the rubric. Okay. Um, so starting with L5, I'm going to go ahead and just copy those over and paste them. And then that way we can narrow it down or adjust it as need be. And I like how you're in here as well at the same time, so yes. we can edit it together. It's That's nice helpful. to be able to see that. Okay, so thinking about just L5, that was the learning target language is identify commonalities and underlining concepts among groups of words, um, and then access and connect prior knowledge and experiences to make connections to words for meaning and application in real life. So thinking about those right now, what are some thoughts about what that might look like to you in the classroom? Identify commonalities and concept among groups of words. So as I'm saying the words to students, they will need to make some kind of connection of what spelling pattern or sounds do they hear in those words. Okay. So when they're actually creating the words. So would that be something that, would speaking and listening be brought into this as well? Would that be part of where we might have them like turn and talk? Or? Since they'll be sitting with a table partner, that would be a good opportunity to have them turn and talk to a partner. Okay, great. So we can go ahead and combine those two. And so it would be L5 and the SL1, I believe. But we can go back and double check that. Yes, SL1. Create rules to ensure respectful group discussions. participate in group discussions on a variety of topics. <laughs> okay, so why don't we go ahead with the second one, because I think they're probably not necessarily going to be creating rules. You would have already established that. So the participating in collaborative conversations? In group discussions on a variety of topics. Okay, and then what you would be looking for, so that's like real language, but what you would be looking for is having them turn and talk to a partner about either the meaning of the word, the spelling of the word, or practicing using the word in a sentence. Okay. So what's helpful to you for like a quick glance at this, if you're looking at it, would it be good to say and turn and talk, did they blank? Or... Turn and talk, did they use the word correctly in a sentence. Mm -hmm.